thousands of people, okay? You think that's a gay, a gay swag? Yes, he has gay swag, 100%. Yeah, all right. Just also, he watches a fuckload of Drag Race because he had a back and forth with uh, Trixie Mattel on Twitter. And in that back and forth, he literally admits that he watches the show because... Uh, here, he pull that up. It's on the it's on the dock. I mean, yeah, it's number five here. Um, he says, I have now been enshrined in late night TV history with all these impersonations, but they are all terrible so far. John Love is supposed to be one of the greatest comedians of all time, and that was embarrassing for him, not me. These comedians need to step their game up. Trixie Mattel responds, maybe the source material was weak. 29,000 likes, by the way. George Santos responds with a uh, gif of Trixie saying, clearly you know all about at weak acting skills. It's a gif. Uh, with a gif, yeah. And then Trixie responds, I am not an actor. I was young and I had fun at a festival. <laughs> that is in reference to what uh, George awesome. Santos had said about <laughs> drag. George Santos replies, it's all good. I won my race against the fan favorite too. She, he knows. Slate I was queen. She knows. Yeah, I, I don't even know what that means. I, I mean, you can understand that's from comics. He's like, I didn't, I didn't watch RuPaul's Drag Race, but like, clearly, that's like something does. that I assume happened in this. Uh, in the next scene. Olivia, can you confirm? I know you're a massive fan. That is that deep. Yes, George Santos knew that Trixie really fucked up Snatch Game when she did her impression of uh, RuPaul. Slate queen. Because she normally yeah. slays it on her other show. Wow. So she got really clowned on. There you go. Here's here's Kevin McCarthy who uh, loves, uh, he loves George Boy. Claims to not like drag is getting dragged all around the timeline. Oh! Snap. Snap. Go. I don't see any way that he's going to have top secret. He's referring to George Santos. He's got a long way to go to earn trust. But the one thing I do know trust. is you, you apply How the fuck the are you going to talk about trust? Yeah, how about, how about you, you, I what mean, look. that dead dog? He trusts Marjorie Taylor Greene as well, and we all but, know why he's trusted Marjorie Taylor Greene, okay? I'm saying it. I'm fucking saying it. Kevin McCarthy, I believe, is having sexual intercourse with Marjorie Taylor Greene. <laughs> Slate fucking is. horn dog. <laughs> I believe it. You heard it here. Her key levels are through the roof because she's doing, you know, oh, kipping. <laughs> hey, what? Kipping CrossFit. What the fuck was that? The voters of his district have elected him. He is seated. He is part of the Republican I conference. Mean, you basically, if you, you might as well just like, if I get elected, I might as well just send someone else and be like, well, he was elected. Literally, they did not vote. They voted for some fictional character that he right. made in a lab. I mean, the seat that Kevin McCarthy is currently <laughs> occupying at this moment used to be held by the longest running pedophile uh, who also happens to be the longest running uh, Speaker of the House. So, Wait, the past really? It's the same seat? Well, no, 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 not the same seat. Dennis Hat, sorry, it's not his, uh, it's not, not the same, the same seat, but the same oh. position that he had right, okay. as, a spe as the Speaker of the House was uh, occupied as a record holder by uh, Dennis Hastert for uh, most pedophilia, <laughs> allegedly. Well, not allegedly, he went to prison for that, but I don't know if he's a record holder for most pedophilia. But, um... <laughs> Also, uh, right now, the longest running speaker of the house. Well, so, we, we know Republicans don't give a shit. <laughs> no matter. There are concerns about it, so he will go before ethics. If anything is found to be have wrong, he will be held accountable exactly as anybody else in his body would be. That is a fair way to handle anything you go, and that's how I'm going to any single issue. Are they really that playing through ethics through. committees? I mean, he says that. I don't know. They're like, these good. I mean, in the, you'd think if, like, there were questions, they would hold off on, like, giving him important, like, assignments, but, like we said, he's already been given positions on the Small Business Committee. The guy who's currently being investigated for running a Ponzi scheme is on the Small Business Committee. Yeah, I see he's on the Committee for Business Transparency uh, and that's Truth and Advertising. Heart of, uh, excuse me, <laughs> Ponzi schemes are at the heart of America. Uh, okay. So. I see. I'm sorry. I see here he's on the uh, committee for um, uh, truth, uh, the truth and justice committee. Yeah, put him on. Put him on the ethics committee. Dude. Yeah, the ethics. Put him on the animal welfare committee. Business ethics. Yeah. Yeah, it's great. All right, there it is. I know you gotta go. Ugh. We did it. We've been here. We've done it. George, I think he could be president. <laughs> Fuck it. It's yeah. a shame about the dog thing because otherwise it's all really. Fun. 
Yeah. That's the one that it's like, oh wow. The thing is, if you Fuck put him. a face to all the people he probably stole money from, it's that really too, sad I too. But it's easy because they don't, we don't know who they are. So there's always some woman who's like, I spent my whole life savings giving George. Yeah. Other, now I can't afford my insulin. The other element here, well, first of all, uh, he could absolutely become governor in Florida. I mean, literally <laughs> fucking, uh, uh, what's his face? Rick, uh, God, the one that looks like Voldemort. I always forget his name. Rick Scott mm -hmm. uh, was, uh, you know, charged with the largest Medicare fraud in American history. And then Florida was like, that's going to be our governor. Wait, he was doing Medicare fraud? Like, yeah. he, him, he? Yeah, his company uh, that he ran was... How much was, did they steal? I think, uh, was it 12 million? Oh, Look what? That's, quick. They, people have done bigger ones than that, no? No, no, no. One of the large, this is one of the largest, yeah. Pack the historic 1.7 billion Medicare fraud. Oh, I was wrong here. Yeah, yeah 1. way more. Billion. Yeah, that's 1. what I'm billion about. Medicare That's fraud. what the fuck I'm talking about. My yeah. man. He's all, he's like, yo, we need why the lower it, taxes and cut benefits. Come up? Like, when I go to his Wikipedia, it, it doesn't show his, like, you know, it, it's not like a fat, like, accusation criminal. Right. Yeah, I see that. He's got a good TR firm. You got a awards and honors uh, tab. Controversial investments. Does that count? Yeah. That's a very sanitized way. Oh, and by like, the way, he stole uh, $2.3 billion. <laughs> anyway, back to uh, how great of a guy he is. Yep. He's like, listen, I'm not in favor of social medicine, so I'm just scooping it up. Make yeah. sure it doesn't go to the poor people. Oh, true. Yeah, and of course, them. now he, you know, now his entire purpose in the Republican Party is to, like, cut uh, more entitlements, cut more benefits, cut Social Security. I tell you That's what. That's what he's running on all the time. Mm -hmm. Fucking idiots, dude. I got it. I just, I despise how stupid Republicans are sometimes. Do you think that guy has got your best interest at heart? He's just, like, literally grafting you. He's just so fucking you every day. Then openly showing his disdain for the working poor, and you're like, nah, that's my guy. He doesn't have any fucking qualities. If you ever listen to him, if you ever watch him, he's not like he's a particularly charismatic person either. He looks like fucking Voldemort. You know what's interesting? Here he's, you see he's smiling. The eyes, they are not smiling. Right. That is death. Yeah, because, you know why? Because right. the only time he's ever smiled is when he's stealing from the, when he's robbing the poor, okay? And Smile. he hasn't robbed the poor in a while. That's Eric. why his eyes have the death stare. He look, they're almost like, they look like he's in terror. Smile. Terror. This guy's seen <laughs> the darkness. He's gazed into the... He peered into the void. He peered back. Yeah. In the reflection of his eye. What the fuck? Is that a body? Is that Satan? Is that a pitchfork in the flames of hell? Is that the screams of oblivion of all lost souls? <laughs> I just, you know, the there's screams. no, there's no such as karmic justice that these demons keep surviving. Yeah. It's like, you know, the poor and the, they. I can hear the screams and blood chilling cries. Helpless. Millions who have perished. <laughs> And because they did not accept Jesus, they weren't baptized, so they went straight to hell. And there, Rick feasts on their souls. <laughs> the right. smile says... Hassan's gotta go. <laughs> yeah. But the eyes... I know, you, I know you're really into this right now. <laughs> all right, all right. Thanks, Hassan. Uh, we covered a lot of ground here today, so that's good. Hell yeah. You know what? I, that's awesome. We raised oh, Dale I, I, I and we praise Dale, baby. I wanted to ask right. you about the Bradley aftermath, but whatever. he has not responded to me yet. I said, "What do you make of this uh, blood work?" I sent it to him, like my T level. Oh stuff. shit! Well, let well, me know what he says. I will. I'll let you know. Bring the results Fiesta. next week. I'll keep you posted. Should I send him my blood? <laughs> Be like, dude, you're dying. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. You, Doctor Bradley your, Martin, tell me. You should get your. You should get your blood work. Regardless. Yeah, you're right. All right, guys. See you tomorrow. Oh, Rebecca Black's coming tomorrow. Oh, oh hell yeah. That? She dunked the shit on Andrew Tate. Hell oh, yeah, dude. <laughs> grinding. Feminist grinding. Uh, icon. All right, guys. We'll see you tomorrow with uh, Rebecca Black. And uh, God bless. Kill like there's no tomorrow.
missed. Successfully deployed. That shot got way too many of us. Acquired. Enemy bones cry out in terror. Enemy halfway to victory.
Elixir obtained. Nearing victory, lost the lead. Eviscerated. <laughs> 